Doctor? You said you wanted a heads up on Richard. Yes, I did. He's got a blood clot in his shoulder. It's affecting his pitching arm. You seen this? Yes, sir. The x-rays came back yesterday. I think if we operate... Now, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it a minute. Who said anything about operating? Mr. McNally, the clot's the size of a dime. It's only going to get bigger. Can we get him through the rest of the year? Yes, I suppose. I he had it. There's no way of knowing that. Can he pitch? Can he do the job I'm paying him to do? Do you uh, really want to do this? I asked for an opinion. Now forget about that. I asked for a medical opinion, doctor. What I pay you for? Can he pitch? He's experiencing pain and numbness. Now it costs me a million dollars a month to run this show, and I'm this close to a pennant. Well, I'm not going to flush it down the drain because our resident prima donna is feeling poorly. You got me. You said you wanted an opinion, a medical opinion. Note it. Now you get that lazy. You get that lazy nigger off his ass and make sure he pitches in Montreal next week. Now, work his arm, find some therapy, give him blood thinners. I don't give a shit, Dr. Pendergrass. But you get him back on that mound. Now get out of here, you. You blind me with your idiocy. I gotta find a new doctor, better one. You see, a lot of you know me as Reverend Dyke. <laughs> uh, maybe you think that I was born in the church, uh, uh, raised uh, in the church. Uh, but uh, uh, no, no, I was out there. Yes, I was, not just pimping, not ordinary pimping, but extraordinary pimping. Right. Brought something with me. Uh, but then God had to change me because I had more holes than a golf course. That's 18, 18 holes in order to compete with the golf course. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, oh, yes. amen. yes. I'm I... a reformed host. <laughs> Use reform. <sighs> We're going in reform. Can't you see her? How she used to be? <laughs> the dress was much shorter then. I had her out there working her. I was working her hard in and out. <laughs> pimping holes, slamming Cadillac doors. <laughs> but now, <laughs> Now, now I've turned over a new leaf. Albeit I turned over a new tree. You'll hold no more oh, until you. we go. Yes, amen. Now, amen. Jesus. in the years of 85 Woo. and 86, uh, I was the pimp king, had a cup, had a glass, had a whole bunch I was selling. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Can I get an amen? Now, yeah. amen. 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 Can church say amen. this brings me to this point because you really want to know why I stopped, why I left that life, the bling bling and the ring ring and the cha-ching-ching -ching and oh, the thing thing. Yes, I did have it all. Yes. I still got some of it. No, you do, baby. I still got some of it. Now, Preach. I began to wonder what good is it for a man to gain the world mm -hmm. if he loses his soul. Ooh, Ooh. Thank you. You hear me, Willie Anderson? I expect to see you in church on Sunday. Sunday. When? Sunday, baby. Sunday. That's right. Early. Woo, not Monday. See, I was a drug dealer. A drug dealer of the worst kind. I not only sold the drugs, I sampled them. Oh, that's I was drug and dealing and sampling, a dealing and a sampling. I, sometimes I got confused from sampling and dealing. I had 12 girls, and I tried to get better, and I had 11. And I broke it on down, had nine. Yes. And now I only got two. Woo. Just playing. Got one. And one I'm getting rid of. I need y'all on church on Sunday. We're going to try to build something. Yes. I'm going to try to make sure that everybody, everybody. has got what I got. That's right. <laughs> everybody needs Woo. pinky rings. That's right. Everybody need a Rolls Royce. Oh, but it starts with me. Yes. I get mine. Mm -hmm. You'll soon get yours. Y'all better listen. I believe that's my cell phone ringing right now. Somebody want to join the church. Right. Y'all have a good day. 
and I'll see you on Sunday. Y'all, yeah, he ain't lying. I've raised tithes to 43% just while we get over the rebuilding yes. period. Yes. God bless you. When do we leave? Tomorrow. <sighs> Tomorrow? <laughs> Be at the Hotel Charles in the morning. I'll make the room under Allison, and I'll be there about noon when we go. Is it safe? It's my Uncle Nestor's place. The desk clerk's a good friend of mine. Nobody, not even your brother's crew, they know that you'll be there. Okay? I love you. I love you, too. But I'm scared. What if he finds us? He'll kill you. It's not gonna happen, I promise. I promise. Okay. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> 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 oh, man. That's beautiful. Oh, shit, your brother's here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bother packing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Take this. What do you want? I thought I heard something. Look, Julia, I know you think I'm some kind of monster and maybe I deserve that, but you all I got. You all that's left in my world that's pure and good. I don't want to lose you to these streets. I'm not strong enough. Someday I hope you understand. You Willie Anderson? Yeah. You seen your nephew Dion? He seems to be getting pretty popular lately. So what you saying, he's not around here? No. Look here. When you get a chance, you have him call me. If you see him. If I see him. 